CapCut and Filmora are both packed with editing power, but which one actually gives you more for your money in 2025? Both are super simple to use and packed with useful features. CapCut comes with AI powered captions, one tap background removal, smooth slow motion, and training templates that make creating content quick and easy. Filmora, on the other hand, offers AI smart masking, AI music generation, motion tracking, and multi camera editing for more creative content and professional results. Today, we are putting both video editors through a full showdown, comparing their prices, features, performance, and output quality until we crown the one that's truly worth your time and money. When it comes to creating content for social media, both editors deliver some powerful tools. Short form video editing is smooth and simple on both, whether you are in transitions, using AI to build scenes, or browsing through a wide library of stickers that are perfect for TikTok, Instagram, or YouTube. CapCut really stands out with its wide variety of AI caption templates, making it easier to create captions that match trending stats. But Filmora pushes ahead with voice quality. Its AI voice enhancer doesn't just improve audio, you can actually adjust the voice beautification to make it sound richer, cleaner and more professional, almost like you recorded with a studio mic. I just found some viral CapCut edits you have to try. Both editors also support high resolution exporting and with just a sign-in, you can instantly upload your video straight to TikTok or YouTube without extra steps. It's a balanced fight here. Both editors make social media content easy, so they both walk away with a point. Now, let's see which editor is better at turning long videos into short clips. First, I tested CapCut's long video to short feature, which you'll find right on the homepage. Just import your clip here, I used my video on 10 best apps for your phone. Adjust the settings and hit convert. The process took about 15 minutes for my 8 minute video. Once it was done, CapCut automatically created several short form videos. The first one is called Relance and it instantly turns your phone into a pro level DSLR camera. You can also jump in to fix mistakes or further edit the clip. Next. I tested Filmora's Smart Short Clips, you'll find it under the three dots menu on the homepage. Upload your clip, select the language, adjust the settings and click Generate. This process finished in about 13 minutes, roughly 2 minutes faster than CapCut. Here is an example of what Filmora created. It's an AI video generator that's going to blow your mind. Say hello to Kling AI. The results look noticeably more professional and just like in CapCut, you can still go in and edit them further. But now, let's see which software can create AI videos faster and better. First, I tested CapCut's AI video feature, which you'll find under AI Media. I imported an image, added a simple prompt, choose the latest model powered by VO3, adjusted a few settings and clicked Generate. I did the exact same test in Filmora using the image to video feature. Same image, same prompt, and since it also uses the VO3 model, the results came out very similar. One cool option available in both editors is importing the first and last frame, so the AI can build a video based on that. The creation process was surprisingly fast in both software, and here are the results. I also love that the AI automatically adds sound effects, which makes the video feel much more professional. With speed and quality nearly identical, both editors walk away with a point. But now, let's see which one offers better special effects. CapCut offers a big library of interesting and useful effects. You'll find the popular earth zoom effect, perfect for making the start of your video stand out. The reflection effect also looks surprisingly realistic and can instantly change the vibe of your video. Plus, there is a plenty of other effects to help your content pop. But when you open Filmora's effects tab, You'll notice it has even more categories and options, making editing faster and more flexible. There are dynamic zoom effects, a wide variety of glitch effects, and my personal favorite, 3D effects. For example, the basic 3D effect can help you create a spinning 3D logo animation, something I also made in a tutorial. I'll leave the link in the description if you'd like to try it yourself. Another standout in Filmora is the corner pin effect. It lets you adjust the perspective of a picture or video by moving its corners. And when you combine it with keyframes, you can build 3D style animations. Basically like Adobe Premiere Pro, but way simpler. Filmora wins this round on effects, but what about the more advanced tools? Who does it better? 
Interestingly, both Filmora and CapCut keep pushing out new features to stay innovative and make editing easier. CapCut has some really impressive tools. Color correction is game changer. You just click, adjust the slider and your video instantly looks better. The Enhanced Quality tool does an excellent job at upgrading your video resolution. And you can even create an AI avatar to speed up content creation. One of my favorites is Color Match, which makes color grading 10 times easier by copying the look from any video or photo and applying it to your own clip with just one click. And that's just a few. CapCut packs in plenty of advanced features that are super useful. Filmora comes packed with even more advanced options. Its AI color palette works just like CapCut's color match, but it feels more professional thanks to the Protect Skin Tone option, which keeps your subject looking natural even with strong color adjustments. I also like Filmora's homepage. It's clear, user-friendly and puts all the powerful tools right where you need them. For example, you get an AI copywriter to spark ideas for your next video, planar tracking to stick images or videos onto flat surfaces like phone screens or signs, and smart background music generation which automatically creates the perfect soundtrack for your video. With so many advanced features, Filmora takes the point in this round. Now let's check out which resolutions are supported and which editor is faster at getting your videos ready. Both CapCut and Filmora let you export in the same resolutions, going all the way up to 8K, which is awesome. To see which one is faster, I tested exporting the same 5 minute video in 4K. First up, Filmora. I exported my Scorp Mini 3 Pro review video and the process took about 6 minutes. Then I ran the exact same test in CapCut. It managed to export the same video in just 2 minutes, which is insanely fast compared to Filmora. So in this round, CapCut literally takes the point for speed. And now the part you've all been waiting for, the price comparison. Both editors give you a 7 day free trial, so you can try them out and see which one feels right. CapCut Serial One is $89.99, while Filmora Advanced is just $59.99, about $30 cheaper. Filmora takes the win. So, after testing them side by side, Filmora actually gives you more value for your money. Sure, CapCut Pro is great, but Filmora packs in more advanced tools at a lower long-term cost, making it a smarter investment if you're working toward Pro results. I'll still edit with both as they each offer something useful. You can try Filmora using the link in the description and check out my other videos for more editing tips and tricks. Thanks for watching, don't forget to like, subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.